I did have a lot of great influences in my life, musically growing up. One of which was my principal. He saw in me that I could sing and would get me up in front of pep assemblies and, and gave me experience. I didn't know it then, but those were experiences for me to learn how to handle a microphone, to learn how to handle my nerves. I also had in intermediate school, ninth and 10th grade, um, Mr. Larry Thompson, my teacher. He taught madrigals and he was a big influence and actually was the one that suggested that I go to Oklahoma City University and study with Florence Birdwell because he had. And he said, this, this is your person, trust me on that. And of course, later I would find out that he was right. My parents said, well, you can audition wherever you want to audition, but one of the things that I wanted to do was check out OCU because Larry Thompson had told me it was so great. And I went to the high school weekend, and my dad took me, and we saw a show, and I thought that everybody was amazing, and they were. And then I found out that I was going to get to audition for Miss Birdwell and for the faculty. And I came in and auditioned, and there was just her. And at the end of my songs, she said, come with me. And I remember thinking, where? And she, we went out into the hall and she showed me her studio. And by this action I knew that I was special enough to be brought into her studio. And she said, you're going to have the highest of highs and the lowest of lows here. I didn't know what I didn't know then, but I knew I was going to get to learn it. And I didn't even audition or apply to another school because I knew that this woman, I have a strong inner voice and I knew that inner voice was saying, you have to be with this person. And I'm thankful every day of my life that I was. Her voice is still in my head of, you're still not quite there. You still have lots of work to do. I'm thankful for that.